Welcome back to another lecture. Now in this lecture, I am going to be introducing you to another exchange that's available to you as a cryptocurrency trader. And that is Bittrex. Now why would you want to go on Bittrex when you're on Poloniex? The reason why is because there are more currencies available on Bittrex, okay? So I just want to give you an example. So this was a YouTube video that I did yesterday, okay? And uh, actually I posted it last night. And somebody mentioned something in the comments. So if I just go down, this person here said that if you want to have a thousand percent gains, then you want to look at Blitzcash, Blitzcash. And I thought, hmm, I'll have a look at Blitzcash. So I went on Poloniex, I put Blitz, nothing there. Okay, so I thought, well, how the hell do I buy it then? How you buy it is you go to Bittrex instead, and this is where you'll buy it. So Bittrex is pretty much exactly the same as Poloniex. It's a place where you buy and sell cryptocurrencies. So if I now put Blitz in here, there it is. There's Blitz Cash. And I've bought some Blitz Cash, Blitz Cash today, and it's going up, which I love to see. So if you hear about a currency, so there are a few that I've heard about that aren't available on Poloniex. Waves is one, Pivex is another one. And I've shown you Pivex in the recent successes. But if I wanted to buy Pivex, I can't buy it on Poloniex. So I have to go to Bittrex to buy it. And if I go and type in Pivex, there it is. So Bittrex is the place to go if you can't find your favorite uh, cryptocurrency on Poloniex. So you'll probably ask me, do I even need Poloniex then if everything is available on Bittrex? In my opinion, although the interface is quite nice and it's much faster, certainly, than Poloniex, Poloniex I find much easier and much more user-friendly for me to do buying and selling. Okay, so I will only use Bittrex if there is a currency that I cannot buy on Poloniex, all right? And as I say, it works pretty much the same way. You need to sign up as a user first. So if I just go to my settings, when I've got an enhanced account, okay? Enhanced is the best account you can have on Bittrex, okay? And this will allow you to make trades. Now, there are three types of verification on Bittrex. You can either verify your address, your name and address. And that's the basic verification, but that gives you very limited options. Then you've also got the phone verification. This is the next level of verification. And you just literally need to type in your phone number. They'll send you a message. You enter a code. That's yourself verified. And then you've got enhanced verification. This is to be able to buy and sell and as it says here, daily withdrawal limit of one Bitcoin. You can't really do much without an enhanced account. So what you do here is you enter again your passport, your driving license or your ID card and then you will be an enhanced user and you will be able to buy and sell like normal like you do on Poloniex. Okay, so I actually quite like Bittrex. It's got a nice clean interface. It looks much more, I suppose, it looks much more official than Poloniex, which does look quite, you know, it does look quite fussy. Bittrex looks much cleaner, gives you more information. You know, it shows you everything in one view. You don't need to kind of click on a currency to see its highs and lows and see the spread and see when it was added. You don't need to do any of that, okay? Because on on Bittrex, it shows you this without needing to click on the currency like you have to on Poloniex. So it's cleaner and it has more currencies. What I do not like is the buying and selling. So just to give you an overview, when you go to Bittrex, you've got your markets, okay? So you firstly got all of the cryptocurrencies that you can buy with Bitcoin, all right? So you can buy Ethereum, Ripple, Monero, Monero Stratus, Aragon, which is not available on Poloniex, and you've got pages and pages of currencies. But this is what you can buy with Bitcoin, all right? Then if we go down 
this is what you can buy with Ethereum, and then down here is what you can buy with USD. All right, but you'll almost never make that happen. Okay, that will almost never happen. So in order to buy and sell, you don't need these two. These two basically bring down a drop down so you can see what the Bitcoin markets are looking like, what the USD markets are looking like, but you will probably won't need that. Okay, the lab is under construction at the moment, but it's probably going to allow you to do some fancy algorithm stuff. And then you've got orders, okay? And orders is the buying and selling of the cryptocurrencies, okay? And as you can see here, I sold some Ethereum and turned it into Bitcoin. And then with that Bitcoin, I bought some Blitz. All right. Now, as you can see, I've done very few trades on here compared to Poloniex, where if I just go and have a look at my trade history and analysis, I've done tons of trades. All right. So you can already see what I prefer, but you can also see what the interface looks like. So this is the open orders. Open orders are exactly the same as on Poloniex. When you are trying to buy or sell something that's higher or lower than its current market price, you have to wait for either somebody to buy it and you have to wait essentially till the price is either goes down or up to the level you're wanting to buy or sell at. That's what, what will be in the open orders. And then once it's completed, it will come up in there. All right. Now, wallets is where you deposit money. OK, in this bit, account balances. If you wanted to send some Bitcoin or some Ethereum over to uh, to Bittrex, you could do that right here. OK, and what you do is you 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 press the cross and then it gives you the address. And this is the same, and this, and it's the same process as it was with Poloniex. You simply copy the address, go back to Coinbase, you go to send funds, and then you enter that address in exactly the same as I did before. So you go to send and request, and if I wanted to send some Ethereum, then I'd just go to my Ethereum wallet, I would enter the address in there, and then I could send however much I wanted to send. OK, and that is how you send funds across. It's exactly the same process. All right. That is how you send money over. OK, and it will show you your withdrawals, your deposits, withdrawal history, deposit history. All right. It will show you all of that. Now, if we go back to Bittrex. If you want to actually buy a currency, you have to click on it. OK, so let's say Wavecoin. OK, let's say we want waves. So we click on waves and then we get this interface here and it shows us the graph. It shows us the last price. It shows you the volume being traded. It shows you the bids, what people are asking for, the 24 hour high and the 24 hour low. So you can see it's really gone up. You know, it was at this 24 hours ago and now it's at this. So it's already gone up a third in value. Amazing. OK, now if you want to buy it or sell it, you do that in here. OK, so if you want to buy it, it will show you what currency you have at the moment. So I've got some Blitz currency. So if I wanted to buy it at this price, if I click it, it will put it down here. Point no, 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 six, four of a Bitcoin. OK, and then you just go to price, go to the last price of the waves, which is there. OK, so you would have to basically to buy one wave and it will show you the price at its current state. And then you just put buy. OK, but I haven't got enough uh, Blitz coin to be able to buy the waves. OK, that's how you do it. And then it's the same thing here. You basically, so if I went back to Blitz, so you go to Blitz Cash. So if I wanted to sell my Blitz, just go down to here. I've got 61 Blitz available. Okay, so I click that and then I enter the last price. And then if I sell it, I will get 0.767865 Bitcoin back. Okay, so if I just press sell, it will sell it all. I don't want to sell it because it's doing really well at the moment. It's going up as we speak, which is awesome. So that is a tutorial on buying and selling on Bittrex. Now, 
I personally only use Bittrex if there is a crypto coin not available on Poloniex. Although it looks much nicer on the interface front, I am not happy with the ease of use. I find that Poloniex is much easier to use. So that concludes our introduction to Coinbase, Poloniex, and Bittrex. Those are all you need, really. There are other exchanges out there like Kraken and Bitfinex. But don't worry about them, okay? Best one is Poloniex and Bittrex if you need another currency that's not available on Poloniex. So I hope that that's helped, and I'll see you in the next lecture.